Day 16 on the charts. First off, we've got ourselves a winning trade here. The CAD yen has triggered. Let's have a look on the history. $154.61 after taking off the swap. That is $146.99. And you can see there the trade. It even went quite a bit further in the daytime. It is Canada's federal election today. So likely a good bit of downward volatility from that helped us out. And that does also open up now the CAD and the yen to be able to trade on other pairs if we get signals from them. That was our winning trade. Now here's our open trade, the Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. Still in profit, hanging around. The MACD's coming back up. This is the third green bar we're going to see for the MACD. Really hasn't moved far from the zero line, but at least we've been able to stay in some profit. Nothing for us to do with it though, so let's take a look at the other pairs, see what we got up there. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. This is a signal for us. Obviously, we're in a New Zealand dollar trade, so we won't take it, but it would be a signal. This is the third histogram bar below the zero here. So it's just in time for the entry now that price has closed below the moving average. And there's the third histogram bar on the Great British Pound, New Zealand dollar. Hasn't made it through. In fact, it's come back down away from the moving average. No signal. With another day or two of downward volatility on the Canadian dollar, we could see a signal come now on the CAD Swiss franc pair. Price below the EMA. If that MACD histogram comes across the zero line, that would be a sell signal. Pound yen, big drop off there. Had we got in that trade yesterday, very likely that, that would have taken our profit today. Really weak for the pound and really strong for the yen. And we do have a signal now on the euro Canadian dollar pair. It is a buy trade in favor of the euro. You can see price clearly above the moving average and the MACD about to close across zero for the first time. Let's see if we've got any other signals before we come back to this one. Euro New Zealand dollar making the cross in favor of the euro as well, but price is below the average on this one, so no immediate signal. Euro gaining a lot against the Great British Pound as well today, not enough to push it above zero, but could see that signal come in the next couple of days. Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, looking like it would have been a winning trade if we were in it, or certainly very close. Still though, we have no signals apart from the euro Canadian dollar, so that is the trade we'll be getting in. Let's pull up our average true range. There it is, our money management assistant, currently showing 93.6 pips. Since we're doing a one times ATR to the stop loss, that's exactly what it will be for us. Here's our risk on the screen now. And so there we go, in with the buy trade. That means we can set our stop loss at one times ATR, and we can set our take profit at 1.5 times ATR. Try and get a bit more out of it. We do see that stop loss right there Let's zoom out and we see the take profit as well. It's not too far away, but really this does seem like a resistance level if you look here. It's bounced off here, it's bounced off here, it's even pulled back from here. So it really wouldn't surprise me if it came into this range, knocking our stop loss on the way. Nevertheless though, a signal is a signal and that is exactly what we got. We are back in action with two trades, four currency pairs. And there they are, both of our trades. We will be back in 24 hours to see how they're doing. Day 17, and we have got our trades pulled up, or well, we've got the Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar trade pulled up first. And you can barely see the MACD histogram. As we hover over it there, you can currently see the reading is 0 0.000007. It is ever so slightly positive. So what we're going to do, because it keeps flipping a little bit, I have seen it below zero as well. If it does close above zero, that means we have to manually close this trade off as the signal has reversed against us. Because it is still so tight though, and we've got a little bit of time left before the end of the day, we're going to take out other actions first, and then come back to this at the end and make our decision on it then. Here's our other open trade, the Euro CAD pair, where we are buying the Euro. And it came very close to our stop loss today. Look at that. And then all the way back up. It's now back up at our entry price, dipping in and out of profit a little bit. No action on this one. Let's have a look at those other currency pairs, see if we've got any entry signals. Zero line crossover is occurring on the New Zealand dollar Swiss franc right now. Selling off the New Zealand dollar, so it's gone underneath zero. Price still above the EMA though. It's got two periods to get across that line to give us the entry signal. And of course, we need to get out of this New Zealand dollar trade as well down here. Canadian dollar Swiss franc pair is giving us a clear entry signal, price below the moving average, MACD crossing below zero, telling us, hey, sell off those Canadian dollars, buy up the francs. 
currently though we cannot take that signal because we're already in the canadian dollar trade against the euro so no signal the pound swiss franc pair very almost giving us a signal here the past couple of days prices come down so far that it's below the moving average easily and the macd is so close to that zero line crossover could well see that tomorrow and we currently do not have any pound or swiss franc trades open this aussie dollar yen trade that we didn't take but it was a signal that would have taken profit i would imagine it's gone quite far there 136 pips and we are getting a sell signal on the aussie dollar swiss franc pair price below zero macd crosses below zero as well mostly sell trades we seem to be getting all these signals are going below zero rather than above it just so happens that way but we need to decide what to do with this trade and the macd reading it is so minimal it's got that decimal point five zeros and then a three right now a four does seem to be hanging around just above it what we're going to do is that when the clock hits 11:45 here whatever the exact reading is at that point that will be our signal if it's above zero even by 0 0.000001 then we will close if it's below it stays for another day five seconds to go and it is currently above and it does stay there so we will manually close that trade down as we will take it that it's going to close that way with the signal reversing against us not too bad a trade at least 33 dollars and two cents in profit but we did have 17 dollars and 92 cents worth of swaps so profits only total to 15 dollars and 10 cents really still though that's much better than a loss but now having closed that trade on the australian dollar new zealand dollar pair it means our aussie dollar is open and we can get into a trade on the aussie dollar swiss franc pair giving us a good signal over here so we're still selling off the australian dollar but we're switching out the new zealand dollar for the swiss franc interesting move there is our average true range pulled up then currently showing a reading of 55.4 pips or 55 pips four pipettes our risk is calculated on screen now and so we can enjoy ourselves a sell trade there we go we're in so let's set that stop loss here 554 points and our take profit at 1.5 times that which is 831 points still always makes me a little bit jittery when i see the stop loss hovering near the high of the current candle one day's retracement could just knock us straight out one last look at our australian dollar new zealand dollar pair shows it is still up there on the macd razor thin margins but i think it makes it pretty interesting that we are now out of that australian dollar new zealand dollar and into the australian dollar swiss franc we'll find out how it's getting on tomorrow day 18 here and we are starting with some pretty bad news our euro canadian dollar trade the stop loss has triggered there we're only in there two days or just under two days did trigger this afternoon going into the evening there we weren't the most confident in this trade it was up at this resistance level here so it did seem like it would be a stretch to get all the way up to one and a half times atr to take profit but disappointed to see it come back down so quickly even if our stop loss was further away you can just about see down here that macd is going to close beneath the zero level so we've been manually closing out anyway that's our euro cad trade our australian dollar swiss franc trade here came very close to our stop loss today just a few pips off there not a good sign of things to come it's currently just over halfway towards that stop loss still really want another red day like one of these to come not even with a high just down it comes straight away because at the moment that macd is not turning still nothing for us to do here at the moment let's have a look at those other charts let's see if we've got any entries pound canadian dollar here almost out of nowhere in this range right now has just crossed below zero there so it's got two more candles for price to close below that average for us to be able to take that signal for now it's not good enough if we join the sell trade here on the canadian dollar swiss franc pair yesterday wouldn't have been doing so well not looking promising if we were in it pound swiss franc giving us a clear signal can't take it because we're in the aussie dollar swiss franc trade but you can see it there price below the moving average and that macd has dropped pretty fast against the pound the last couple of days look at those big red candles there the euro new zealand dollar pair it was the last candle for it to be able to make it up and over the exponential moving average to get us into a trade it did not happen signal doesn't come we're locked out of this macd move here and the euro swiss franc giving us a similar signal to the pound swiss franc has crossed below zero 
but we've already got a trade that's in favor of the Swiss franc as we're selling off the Australian dollar against it. And therefore, we shall not take this signal right here. This is the Australian dollar New Zealand dollar pairing here. And we can see at the end of yesterday, the MACD did close just above zero. So we feel pretty validated in that decision to close the trade. Finished at 0 0.000023 in the end. And the price did come green today, so it wouldn't have mattered if we'd either kept this trade open or gone for the Aussie dollar Swiss franc. They would have both moved against us by about the same amount. Yet no new entry signals that we're able to take then. We do have those pound and euro ones against the Swiss franc. But if we want to be reasonable about it, then we shouldn't have three trades open on the Swiss franc. They'd all be trades in favor of the Swiss franc, 2% capital risk each. It's basically risking 6%. The Swiss franc has a bad day. It's no good for us. So no signals for us there. We'll be back in 24 hours to see if we've got any then. Day 19, and we've got our Australian dollar Swiss franc chart pulled up here. And it is bad news once again. Our stop loss has been triggered around about lunchtime today for a full $107 loss. Plus those swaps there, $6.64. Only took two days to run right back against us. Very similar to that euro dollar CAD trade that got knocked out yesterday. If price starts coming up even more, we could see a crossover above the average and above the zero level there. We might be in a trade going the other way much sooner than we'd thought. Disappointed with the loss as always, but let's see if there's any other entry opportunities out there on those charts. The great British pound Canadian dollar pairing here, really tempting us with a signal, but not quite there yet. We need that close to be below the moving average and it is not there. It is currently overlapping with the moving average. It did go quite far past there, but since then has pulled back quite a bit. And so that means we've only got one more histogram bar for price to fully close across that average to give us that sell signal entry. On the pound Aussie dollar, if we saw a big sell off of the pound here, we could get a simultaneous crossover of the moving average and the MACD. Could be a potentially nice entry signal if this was to form a lower high and then continue a downward trend. CAD yen, what a surge this is making. It's been a really poor day for the yen. Seen a lot of currencies strengthen against the yen today. And that MACD and not quite across zero, but we could see that tomorrow as well as across the moving average. If we see a day anything like this store, if we see any green, that'll go over the line there. Even with a bit of red, it might still go over, but it wouldn't make it over at that moving average. And we do have an entry signal here. It is on the CAD Swiss franc pair. It's a buy signal in favor of the Canadian dollar selling off the Swiss franc. And it is really a signal within this range here. Don't know how confident I'm going to be in this signal. That is if we end up taking it. Let's just finish off browsing our charts and see if we've got any other entry options. Last night being in the Aussie dollar Swiss franc pair kept us out of this trade here. The Great British Pound Swiss franc. We can see we would have entered into a sell trade here. And not only would we have lost our Aussie dollar trade, we also would have lost this pound Swissy trade. This is why you shouldn't really load up on risk for each currency pair. Could have easily been another 2% of our capital there, completely wiped. And the Euro CAD also giving us a signal here so we can see big sell off of the Euro. Down it comes across the moving average. That's a sell against the Euro, a buy for the Canadian dollar, which means we've got two trades that are asking us to go in favor of the Canadian dollar so far. And very almost a sell signal against the euro in favor of the pound here. Could see that come tomorrow with a bit more of a sell off there. Any more red we see and that crossover will come. That is all of our trades assessed. And it comes down to the Canadian dollar Swiss franc and the euro Canadian dollar pairing. Both telling us to go in favor of the Canadian dollar. Let's take another look at that euro Swiss franc pair. On the daily chart here for the euro Swiss franc pair, we can see that the euro did have a stronger day today against the Swiss franc. Remember, that's how we're deciding what we're using as our determiner for when we get two signals at the same time. We're seeing which pair on the day today had a stronger day. So that was the euro. That means we would rather trade against the Swiss franc than we would against the euro because the euro stronger than the Swiss franc. So that means even though it is in this range here, we are going to go for the Canadian dollar Swiss franc pairing. The other thing I'd understand here is if you sort of said, hey, this signal is actually coming on the second candle, whereas the Canadian dollar Swiss franc one is coming on the first candle of the crossover. So therefore, I see the first candle as a more reliable signal than the second candle. Well, that would be completely fair and logical and would get us to the same outcome in this instance. So let's get onto that Canadian dollar Swiss franc pair and let's pull up our ATR. 
Our average true range value is currently 62.2 pips then. That will be our stop loss distance with a 2% risk. You can see how that's calculated on screen now. So let's get into this buy trade. Our trade is in and we are a go. That means we can set our stop loss and take profit. As per our ATR value here, it is 622 for the stop loss and 1.5 times that value for the take profit is 933 or 93.3 pips, 93 pips, three pipettes, however you like to say it. There it is. And you can see always my least favorite thing with these when it's one times ATR stop loss and you see it above the low price of the day's range. It means that if this was a false move and price just came straight back down, it wouldn't even have to go past today's low before wiping out the stop loss. Nevertheless, though, a signal is a signal and we do like to be in a trade. We'll be back in 24 hours time to see how we get on with it. Day 20 here, right at the end of week four. Our Canadian dollar Swiss franc trade, slightly in profit. Did make a beeline for the stop loss there, but has pulled back throughout the afternoon and evening. Now into the tiniest amount of money, could even drop down soon. But at the moment, looking good. So nothing for us to do here. Have a look and see if there's any Friday entries out there for us. Here comes a signal from the CAD yen. Not a trade we can take because we're already in a CAD pair. But it is to the buy side for the Canadian dollar. So at least it's a good sign for us that the Canadian dollar is strengthening in general. Pound yen very almost coming in with the signal. If we can get a green day on the Great British Pound, that should knock it above the moving average, above the zero line and into a trade. The euro yen so close to a signal price has come above the moving average only by a smidge but it is past it. However the MACD just a little bit shy. One more push or as long as there's not a big red day that comes to be honest should be enough momentum in this MACD now to cross over there. Potential entry in the next day or so. Here's a signal that doesn't look so good for us. It's the Swiss franc Japanese yen pair. It is a buy trade in favor of the Swiss franc which does mean that Swiss franc is strengthening. Not what we want to see is we are betting against it in our Canadian dollar trade. Can't take this signal and we hope it turns red there. Let's get people selling the Swiss francs. If you got them, sell them. That Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar pair that we had a trade in previously, still ranging down here, would have been going a little bit more against it. It was a sell trade we were in. And we do see green power coming at the moment. Still though, very much near where our entry price was. Well, that is it then. No extra signals for us. Still room for the Canadian dollar here against the Swiss franc. Let's get some big green coming into the market, at least for a couple of days. Get us away from this moving average. Get the MACD away from the zero line. Try and lock in some profit. We will be back next week to carry on the strategy. For now, let's just summarize where we're at from the perspective of the journal. And there is our journal. A bit more worse for wear than last week. We have lost that 100% win record. Two wins and two losses this week. But... The losses do slightly outweigh those wins there. Those two there are about $187.50. These losses though, close to $228, plus all the swaps as well. So yeah, not a good week for the strategy, but we had to take some losses at some point. These two losses, they were very similar, both of them lasting two days and getting knocked out completely. Not a good feeling. And we could get the same from the CAD Swissy level. It's where they end up at those sort of resistance levels we end up getting in. That momentum has pushed its way forward. But you feel like it's on the tip of reversing. You never know though. I'm sure we've still got plenty more trades to come. And for now at least we are still in the money. Positive $237.41. Good stuff. Hopefully we can improve on that next week. With a few more winning trades. Or is that just wishful thinking? Either or. Either or. Thanks for watching.